the preparation of magnesium silicide and monosilane gas. Attention, magnesium powder is flammable and reacts with water to form hydrogen gas. Monosilane is highly flammable. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. First, 1 gram of quartz sand and 1.2 grams of magnesium powder are mixed. The mixture is then added to a test tube which is attached to a ring stand. On top of the mixture a layer of sand is added. Then the tube is tilted. The mixture is then heated with a Bunsen burner until a reaction takes place. The magnesium reduces the silicon dioxide and silicon and magnesium oxide are formed. The silicon reacts with additional magnesium to form magnesium silicide. When the reaction is finished, the tube is left to cool. While cooling, the tube gets many cracks, but usually these don't cause the tube to fall apart. Next, the excess sand is dumped out and the test tube is wrapped in a sheet of paper so that the ends can be folded. Another tube is broken at the end with a product. After that the paper just has to be unrolled and the shards can be removed manually. The product is a mixture that not only contains magnesium silicide but also magnesium oxide, unreacted magnesium and quartz sand. Then a part of the magnesium silicide is added to 10% hydrochloric acid. The magnesium silicide reacts with the hydrochloric acid to form monosilane and magnesium chloride. The monosilane is pyrophoric and reacts with the air to form silicon dioxide and water in an exothermic reaction. In the preparation it has to be considered that the reaction doesn't always work without any problems. For example, if the sand is too fine or crushed into a powder, the reaction becomes too violent. It can often be read that the layer of sand on top of the mixture is not required, but it prevents the magnesium from reacting with humidity and the formed hydrogen to ignite. Usually this does only cause a little jump scare, but should still be prevented due to safety reasons. Unfortunately, collecting the gas didn't work, because the monosilane seems to have reacted before it could be used. The rest of the gas is just hydrogen. The test tube had a white residue on the inside, which can be explained in two ways. One possibility is that the dissolved oxygen in the water did react with the monosilane gas. The second one would be that the silane had reacted with the water itself to form silicilic acid. This was the preparation of magnesium silicide and monosilane gas. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment.